mistletoe hung where you can see every couple tries to stop rocking around the Christmas tree let the Christmas spirit ring later we'll have some pumpkin pie and we'll do some caroling you will get a sentimental feeling Thank you for joining us tonight. My name is Nicole Peterson Orr, and I am honored to be the Executive Director of RUHS Foundation. On behalf of our team and our Board of Directors, I cannot express how happy we are to be back in person together to celebrate the good work of our pediatric team and our donors over the years. A special thanks to our Platinum sponsors, GM Business Interiors, Pacific Premier Bank, and Trammell Crow Company. And our gold sponsors, Loma Linda University Women's Health, Loma Linda University Pediatrics Department, Kaiser Permanente, Vituity, RUHS Medical Staff, Golden West Moving Systems, and Altura Credit Union. Thank you to 3rd District, County of Riverside, and 5th District, County of Riverside as well. And of course, we have to mention our first fund and need donor every year, Donna Knox our long-standing super auction supporter, Mary Ashley. Our special guests this evening include Supervisor Jeff Hewitt, Supervisor Chuck Washington, Supervisor Karen Spiegel, Supervisor Kevin Jeffries, and retired Supervisor Marion Ashley, as well as our own Riverside County CEO, Jeff Van Wagenen. And last but certainly not least, our beloved tree designers, Festival of Tree Committee, and our RUHS Foundation Board of Directors, without whom this would not be possible. And when I say possible, I am not just talking about a special event. I am talking about critical equipment like ultrasounds, continuous EEGs, cribs, toddler beds, giraffe beds for babies born in distress, and investments in our patient experience like remodeled playrooms and artwork for a healing and child-friendly environment. This is just the last few years. We have found that making a difference in our workplace for our amazing doctors, nurses, and other caregivers is a gratifying endeavor too, especially as we consider the events of the last year and our new understanding of our healthcare heroes. We are truly stronger together and we are so thankful for your partnership. I am so happy to be back for the Festival of Trees. I am your MC Zach Crone and I can't believe I started working with RUHS over six years and 11 pounds ago. 
I'm sure you'll all agree with your MC that tonight's event will be a sight to see, so let's make sure everyone is set up and in the know to take full advantage of all the fun festivities this evening. Take a look around and choose your adventure tonight. Whether you spend the evening watching the fine program on the big screen or hours in the party in the pavilion enjoying culinary creations and delicious libation from our fine selections, or head over to the food truck terrace for some comfort food, tonight is promised to be a fun evening. After all, tonight is a culmination of celebration and fine recreation, so if you are here for the cultivations and good vibrations of this congregation, or for the gravitation towards libation, conversation, or social reacclimation, we hope that you'll give kind contemplation towards a wonderful donation for the health and dedication of the Riverside population. So let's make sure everyone is set up and in the know to help us accomplish our big goal of the evening, to give to Riverside County kids. Take out your phone and text the phrase R-U-H-S-F-O-T-2021 to 76278. That's R-U-H-S-F-O-T-2021 to 76278 to participate in this incredible super silent auction, which includes fantastic items such as a winter wonderland getaway to Mammoth, a private beach house, Laker tickets, a private VIP box, and even an adorable puppy to take home. Every time you bid, it's a good deed to help those in need, so bid with speed and impede upon someone else from trying to succeed. You don't even have to win anything to support RUHS. You simply have to make a richer person pay more. So now is the time for all of us to bid and compete to win or fall and defeat. And it won't be discreet as you bid on things from Laker tickets to beautiful retreats. So do your best in this contest. It's all for the kids. Let's see those bids. Put down any drink or fancy concoctions. Pick up those phones and let's have an auction. Or if you simply want to embrace the spirit of giving this holiday season, you can do so by donating directly to our fund to need. Finally, we will be drawing a winner for a case of fine Fazelli wine for those of you overachievers who give $100 or more during our last chance tonight at 9 p.m. So keep your phone close by, set the auto bid feature, and give it any amount in which you feel inspired to support your own community. Now that we are ready to go, let's jump right into one of my favorite stories coming out of RUHS Foundation this year. The amazing story of parents helping parents of innovation in schools and how donors make things happen. So I'm excited to tell you about our Transforming Our Partnerships for Student Success Program, which is a partnership between Riverside University Health System Behavioral Health and Hemet Unified School District. So I'm passionate about behavioral health support I'm at our school sites because our children have high acuity, high need, and many years ago I realized that we didn't necessarily have the resources available to help students. The program began a little over a year ago um, with an opportunity that came to us to develop uh, teams of staff that are going to work with the students directly and their families. The TOPS program is a team that will be positioned at each one of our comprehensive high school sites that have specific skill set in meeting the needs of individual students based on their whole person health screener score. The power of the parent partner is that they have shared or lived experiences that allow parents to engage with somebody who works at the school site but doesn't work for the school. I became a parent partner because first and foremost I'm a parent. I felt like I had to advocate for my kids and it was shaky ground. I didn't really know what I was doing. And I just remember as they got older, I thought I wish someone would have helped me. And so I just wanted to be that person for someone else. So the parent partner has done an amazing job of becoming integral into the school campus and really has demonstrated how effective she can be in connecting with families and getting those resources to the families. I love helping families find their own success. I'm here to just support parents because I always start with my line as parenting's hard. So here I am, like, let's talk. Because of our relationship with TOPS, we have access to parent partners, transitional age youth support providers, and mental health therapists, in addition to very specific data around the whole person health screener um, that really identifies um, students' needs from not just a mental health perspective, but from a resource perspective and a physical health perspective. When they're alone by themselves, they get to fill out that whole person, you know, health screener and answer those questions about what might be going on in their lives that they might not feel comfortable talking to someone about. And when I've spoken with some of the students, they're like, we wouldn't even know who to talk to. So when we see the, the whole person health screener, we see the results on it. We know we might see some things. Okay, well, let's check in with this child. Let's see if there might be a substance abuse issue. Let's see if there's anxiety and depression.
My true hope for the TOPS program is that not only are we able to provide behavioral health support through the clinician and the TA support provider and the parent partner, but that we can also connect through coordination of care um, our kids to resources within the community to meet the needs of the whole child. I know and believe that schools are the, the pivot point in a community. We've been here such a short time and we've had such tremendous results. We've been able to help so many people already. I just, the thought of these kids falling through the cracks and not getting the assistance they need when the assistance is there. Because if we have the ability to do good, let's do it. And the TOPS program is allowing us to do this good for these families that they've needed all along. The reason why I do what I do every day, it's for the kids. And so I think it's important that um, our community continues to support the efforts that we're doing with kids. It's really hard to be successful when you might have all these other things that aren't school related, all these barriers that are holding you back. So if we can help with the whole person, then I think we're gonna have more whole success. I want to ask everyone who is watching a very simple question. What is that one power that you have right now in this moment that will play an active role in providing for the health and safety of those counting on us? What is that singular benevolent force that every person is capable of unleashing upon this world? The answer is you. You have the power of choice. So tonight, choose the path of optimism, of hope, and of generosity and all the traits we so often admire. We always talk about creating a better world and a better community. Well, here's your shot. Please give now by texting the phrase R-U-H-S-F-O-T 2021 to 76278. Then navigate to the giving page and choose any amount that inspires you to give. Tonight, we are funding this amazing work. Those parent partners are helping those families all year long because of donors like you. I've never met a single person who ever regretted giving, and it's because they realized the reward. They achieved a higher level of purpose and understanding. They realized that happiness is true wealth. Inner peace is true success. Health is the true currency, and kindness is the true source of joy. Now, whether you have given already or you haven't given yet, or you've been waiting for that perfect opportunity to give or give again. Now is that wonderful opportunity to make something truly remarkable happen. You're receiving texts throughout this evening highlighting the amazing donors who are offering matching gifts. Help RUHS Foundation double the impact by answering the call. Check your phones, click on that link, and let's make something truly important come to life. The silent auction, the fund to need, your sponsorships and gifts, all going to this incredible work. This is not just about the power of a donation. This is about the power of a decision. And right now, your decision equals destiny for the children and families that are counting on you. Riverside University Health System knows that their services are stronger together, stronger when the talents and skills of teams are joined to make the biggest difference for our patients. RUHS is certainly stronger with you, your donors, the sponsors, and the givers, so let's put the full power of this community behind this cause in this moment. We can't control the events of our world, but we can choose what to focus on. So choose to focus on the solution. Choose to do something positive and life-changing at any amount that is meaningful for you because whatever you focus on is what you will feel. Continue to give throughout the course of our program. It is a decision you will not regret, I promise you. At this time, Let's hear from the chair of RUHS Foundation Board of Directors. Here is Carrie Pendergast. Thank you to everyone who's come out this evening to show support for our Riverside County kids. The Festival of Trees is a labor of love. 30 years ago, RUHS Foundation was established to fund the needs of children and families, particularly those who have experienced abuse and neglect. This evening, we have touched on the idea that we are stronger together, and nowhere is that more evident than in what we consider one of our greatest accomplishments, which is the opening of the expanded Riverside Child Assessment Team Center, also known as the Child and Abuse Neglect Unit. 
It is powerful to recognize that Riverside County Child Assessment Team serves more than 1,500 children and families every year in our county. This new expansion means that the team will be able to serve hundreds more, and I'm happy to see that they will now have the adequate space needed in a beautiful and child-friendly environment to serve more children and families. While we celebrate this evening, we also acknowledge the tremendous responsibility we, as a community, have in caring for some of our most vulnerable children residing in Riverside County during a time of their greatest need. There were numerous people who dreamed and planned for such a beautiful facility such as this, and our donors made it happen. On behalf of the Board of Directors of RUHS Foundation, please accept my thanks. And now let's hear from the people who do incredible work for our most vulnerable and deserving kids. Children who suffer any type of abuse in their lives, they need that to be figured out properly. This multidisciplinary team in Riverside County comes together in a centralized location, which is our center. When I think about our children who have been abused and neglected, and we need to understand a little bit more about what's happening in their situation. And so when they go into those doors of the Child Assessment Center, they have to overcome RUHS, the fear that this child is coming into the organization with. And so their support really helps us to understand what are the medical needs, what are the behavioral health needs, what type of support does this child need? And that's why I believe we can't do it without the experts that come from RUHS. Trauma-informed response to any tragedy is the way to gain resilience, and that's what we really want to do here. The new space that we are in now, first of all, just upon driving in the driveway and parking, it's just easier to navigate, it's not as confusing. Then you walk into the doors and you're met with brightness and just a beautiful new setting that looks like a space that is already meant to comfort you. The child-friendly and family-friendly environment is an indication that this is a place of support and warmth. Um, it's important that families and children feel like their needs are being met. So we tried our best in our old center to make sure pe people felt comfortable, but here it just feels like we have such a new opportunity. Even when the staff walked in for the first time, their faces brightened up and they were in awe. For me personally, you know, it's just, uh, it's just full of emotions for me because I knew this was something that was so deserving of the River of Riverside County families and just being able to now open our doors in Riverside County and looking at our center and having that wow factor when you walk in, I mean, it's just indescribable. The new center impacts my care for the kids because it's a much lighter, brighter space. We're able to grow because we have three times the number of exam rooms. Now we can see three times the number of children. This impacts the vulnerable children of Riverside County because rather than waiting, we can probably accommodate them within a very brief period of time. You know, before emergency cases would come in and maybe we could help one. Now, you know, we can see, you know, three or four emergency cases, same day add-on cases. And so again, for them, for able, being able to start services right away and being able to see right away, it's gonna make such an impact. We have enough room for multiple families. We have three separate spaces that we can have spread people out. And there's a lot more confidentiality and, and privacy and a lot more space for us to have a full conversation with folks without worrying about if other people can hear. The, the kids and the caregivers are just gonna know that this is just really made for them and that everything in the space is meant to help them feel comfortable and to give them that peace of mind that they're in good hands in the hardest time of their life. To the donors that made this happen, I say thank you. 
I mean, you have no idea how much we appreciate this. Um, I practically skip from the parking lot into my office because it's such a warm place. The type of work that we do is difficult and it really helps to elevate the mood when you're in a, a space that feels welcoming and inviting. And I mean, a million times thank you. As Cheryl Lynn, our parent partner at Hemet Unified said, and as we have seen with Riverside County child assessment teams, our kids are our future and we need to care for their physical and mental well-being. So now that you know the why, it's time to be rewarded for your generosity. And since you've all been properly wined and dined, to be kind, refined, aligned, and inclined to place a bid for this worthy cause to get behind, I hope you've been checking your silent auction items in GiveSmart. I know I have a mini tree that I'm watching. Check out those premium options too. We may not have a traditional live auction tonight, but we sure do have live auction worthy items such as an opportunity for you to rest and relief of refreshing relaxation and rejuvenation as you regale and rejoice in a remarkable rendition of refined recreation and table the tacit tarnation and trauma and get away from the trouble and tyranny of traffic and trouncing tangles of tension and trepidation but treat yourself with a trip of timeless tranquility and alleviation whether you're looking for a winter wonderland getaway or a day of fun in the sun our next item is perfect for any season with a five night stay at the juniper springs lodge in mammoth mountain you are just five and a half miles from the main entrance to mammoth mountain ski area as this mountainside craftsman's style condo offers a five-star luxurious experience in the heart of the great outdoors. You and your seven guests will enjoy a spacious three-bedroom lodge that includes access to numerous luxury accommodations such as ski in, ski out privileges, two heated outdoor pools, six hot tubs, two fitness centers that you'll never use, a coffee bar, outdoor fire rings, and access to an on-site chairlift. During the winter, you can ski and snowboard Mammoth Mountain or take off to the wilderness on your cross-country skis. In the summer, the snow melts away, opening the roads to Devil's Postpile National Monument, a 101-foot rainbow falls, and the gateway to Yosemite National Park. No matter what time of year you visit, there are plenty of things to do in Mammoth Mountain, available winter or summer of 2022 for any mutually agreed upon dates between parties generously donated by John and Ann Mott. Or, if you would rather surf than ski, now is your chance to enjoy all the fishing, swimming, hiking, biking, tennis, surfing, golfing, shopping, sailing, dining, drinking, snorkel, scuba, laughing, kissing, hugging, dancing, prancing, and romancing as you get away without going too far and escape to your own piece of beachside paradise with a sunny, week-long stay in Oceanside, California. You and your five guests will enjoy the spectacular ocean view from the private deck of this two-story, two-bedroom retreat. Oceanside is a true SoCal beach town with a relaxed, laid-back vibe. The city boasts spectacular spectacular year-round weather, gorgeous beaches, a historic wooden pier, quaint New England-style harbor, and a charming bungalow of neighborhoods. It is a destination of discovery where you can explore everything from awe-inspiring sea life through the exciting ocean adventures and California history at the King of the Missions and surf culture, of course, at the California Surf Museum. Don't pass up on this wonderful opportunity to enjoy a week of sand, surf, and endless sun in the SoCal sun at this spacious two-story, two-bedroom retreat in Oceanside, California. And finally, back by popular demand is your chance to bring home the newest member of your family as this adorable bundle of joy being brought around by our very own Adoption and Rescue Office of the Riverside County Department of Animal Services. They will fill your life with snuggles and bounces and love and kisses and is sure to make the perfect new addition to your home. This adorable little bundle of joy can be yours and it comes with their first round of vaccinations in Spain complete. This beautiful puppy is ready to come home with their very own puppy care package complete with a puppy playpen, treats, and bed. Imagine the looks on your children's faces when they finally get that puppy they've been begging you for all holiday season. Next up, we have an amazing story to tell you all about RUHS Foundation's work to build her care, a new woman's health effort for moms experiencing high-risk pregnancy. We know that a healthy childhood begins with the mother. And with our partnership of First Five and our donors, we are transforming that experience. You are watching this because you know that nothing is more important than to create a future where all children receive the loving care, safety, and stability that they deserve. It is only with your support that we all can perform an act that is fundamentally decent. If you are watching this video and you are inspired to give, Hit that fund a need button on your phone. 
We can make a huge difference with our gifts tonight, with or without a paddle in our hands. After celebrating this campaign throughout this video, we'll then hear a special message from Jennifer Cruikshank, CEO of RUHS Medical Center and Community Health Clinics. Her Care is a really unique program and it fills a gap that we have in Riverside County. Her Care is the High Risk Care Access and Resource Program. It is uh, funded by First Five and it has been the foundation of setting up ultrasounds and telehealth equipment in our remote clinics. The reason we started this program is to bring more access to care to our community members outside of our main campus here in Moreno Valley. We know that so much development and learning goes on in utero, and so this allows us to have um, physicians that are specialized in maternal fetal medicine. It allows us to have collaborations with hospitals. I had heard that a position had opened up here where many years ago I had trained, and it had a, such a fantastic population of people that no longer had service. Her care was an outgrowth of us just looking and seeing what the needs were. We didn't want to come to Riverside and just replicate what everybody else did. Could we find populations in the community that really needed our care and we could reach out to them before they needed to come into the hospital? It was important to build a team so that we can have um, a good foundation to be able to create a program that's first of its kind in this region. You know, our, our group is the only group right now that actually does inpatient and outpatient total high-risk care for, the, for anybody in the county. The partnership with First Five has given us the ability to be able to start the program, to create the foundation, to be able to have these outside clinics. So First Five believes that the earlier we start, the better. And because children start learning before they're born, um, this is why this investment is important to the commission. We have more than 30,000 births every year. So if we can identify those risks and concerns early, we can get um, pregnant moms and babies the care that they need. So my work um, at First Five and on the commission has been immensely rewarding for me personally um, because I know it's kind of corny to say, but the children are, are our future. But quite honestly, um, Riverside County continues to grow and where it's growing is in young families. And so I think it's uh, vitally important uh, that we protect and nurture those young families as much as possible. The future of her care is to develop a perinatal access center so that we can have direct facility, facility, maternal transport. Each person, no matter where they are, can, can be, get taken care of regardless of what system that they're in. The goal is to be able to provide um, the best high-risk prenatal care to all of the community members in Riverside County. The foundation has been the backbone of positivity for us because without support you can't do a project that's this big. And the foundation would tell us we can get support for that. There are good people out there. There are people that have partnered with us and we can help you and we can get support. I want women and babies experiencing high-risk pregnancy to feel supported. I want them to feel like they have the same access to care as everybody else. And I want them to have healthy, happy pregnancies with babies that thrive. Her Care is such a critical program in Riverside County. I would just urge our supporters to continue to support the program and to invest in our moms and our babies because they truly are our future. This past year has continued to be an incredible strain on nearly everyone in society, and many lives have been forever changed. The team across Riverside University Health System stretched and flexed in ways we never imagined as every member of our team leaned in to support everyone in this region. Team members from many departments all leaned in and supported our healthcare team to serve anyone in need. It has been, for many people, some of the most challenging experiences faced in our careers. However, in spite of the unprecedented demands, the RUHS team still achieved major accomplishments that are Herculean in light of the additional demands 
during this ongoing pandemic of nearly two years. The RUHS team never lost sight of our mission, our obligation to train the next generation of healthcare providers while remaining laser focused on expanding access to and enhancing quality of care and service in this region. RUHS was there testing, vaccinating, and providing care and service in every corner of our county. We added over 250 beds and expanded mental health and substance abuse support services across the behavioral health continuum. We achieved both level one trauma designation and verification, the only hospital achieving both in Riverside County. It's hard to believe it was only 11 months ago that our team faced the highest volumes of patients served in our history. Throughout the night, you will see examples of how RUHS has taken the lead, built new programs, reached in to connect people to support services so important in helping improve health outcomes and create healthier communities for our future. This holiday season is a wonderful opportunity to recognize the many bright spots all around and fill our hearts with gratitude. God really has richly blessed this community with this team, and through his grace, all of this is possible. Your presence and support ties you to our mission and connects each of you to our RUHS family. Your support really does matter. It is with extreme humility and gratitude to be sharing these great accomplishments of our extraordinary healthcare team members. The RUHS family keeps showing up to care for the entire region, to support you and your loved ones. Thank you for showing up to support RUHS. Thank you, Jennifer. What a great reminder of why we are here tonight. Hey, have you checked out the party under the pavilion? I hear there's some great food and drinks as tonight is perfect for a privileged, prosperous, prominent, paramount party of preferential preference of professional, pristine, purity, and prestige with a pen shop for palate pleasing portrayals, personifying proficiency and perfection. For this is a popular point in party package that provides preeminent precious possibilities. So maybe go check it out. If you need a sugar rush, there's always the confectionery counter with sweet treats and specialty coffee and cocoa bars. Don't wait to hit that in and out drive through on your way home tonight either because they are ready to serve at the Food Truck Terrace. A special thanks to our vintners who came out to pour tonight, such as Briar Rose Winery, Wilson Creek, Fazelli's Winery, and more. They have some amazing packages in the silent auction as well, so make sure to take a bit of fine wine home with you this evening. While the festival has a serious side because of all this important work, we all know that we want to have a little fun. So let's check out some of the brightest medical minds taking a break from the day to day to get a little silly. It's worth noting that every one of our participants is a donor and sees the impact of your gifts firsthand as well. If you are inspired at any time this evening to give, hit up that phone of yours and add to our fund to need. A gift from the heart can go a long way to hitting our $75,000 goal tonight in funding amazing equipment and programs. So now it's time to have a little fun. Welcome to RUHS's Family Feud, ladies and gentlemen. We have a wonderful program in store for you today where some of the smartest minds in the history of RUHS are competing for bragging rights and lunch to see who is the smartest team of doctors of all. Give all right, me Dr. On, Dr. V, give me Dr. T, step up to the button. Oh. Name a movie with the word doctor in the title. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Do you want to, now you have a chance because that was the number three answer on the board. Doctor Doodle. Doctor Doolittle is number one. <laughs> do you do you want to pass or play? Play. They're gonna play. They're going to play with only three potential answers left. You actually, she is your best team ever, you know that, right? Name a movie with the word doctor in the title. A Dr. Seuss movie. I'm going to go to Dr. Seuss. That's incorrect. All right, Dr. Johnson. Name a movie with a doctor in the title. Um, doctor Knows Best. <laughs> he doesn't have time for movies. Incorrect. Dr. T. Dr. Shivago. Dr. Shivago ah, yes. is oh. number two on the list. Wow. Yes. You have two strikes. You got to be careful. There are two oh. more potential answers you have to get. 
Name a movie with the word doctor in the title. <laughs> Wrong game show. <laughs> Three. I need an answer. Two. Uh, one. Doctor, what's your... <laughs> I didn't. I didn't catch that. There was too much laughter at the end. Doctor, what's that? Right? Doctor, what you Great plot twist. Great. That is incorrect. For a chance to steal, have we come up with an answer? Ch Chang V or Kim? Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange Love is correct. They oh! stole. Oh! All right. All right. Well, that was fun. Always a good time with the RUHS team letting loose. You know, I was chatting with my friends at the foundation and we were marveling at the generosity of our donors. A special thanks to the Trammell Crow Company, Pacific Premier Bank, and GM Business Interiors for being our platinum sponsors this evening. Between these three donors, RUHS's NICU will be able to not get just one, not just two, but three new giraffe beds in the coming months. These special pieces of equipment are ready when a baby is born in distress and has all the bells and whistles to help make it for a safer, more comfortable experience. The team is delivering more than 120 babies every month, making this equipment even more vital. And that is why we are here tonight, my friends. The opportunity to make a difference, to buy giraffe beds and all kinds of incredible equipment with names I can't even pronounce. So let's take a look now at a wonderful story of how the NICU was equipped by the grace of donors with a NICVIEW camera system. You are helping families in difficult times stay connected. Every year in our neonatal intensive care unit, we see more than 400 babies who come from all over the region. It can be really hard to have your baby in the neonatal intensive care unit because most parents picture having a happy birth, a healthy baby, and um, staying for a couple days and taking their baby home. Our daughter's name is Adeline, and she's been in the NICU now for uh, around three months. And she weighing one pound, 13 ounces, yeah. and 12 inches. Of course, we're extremely happy, but uh, you know, not the way we wanted her to come into the world early like this. But uh, it was all so fast, and it just hit. I don't know, it hit me pretty hard. I was inconsolable for you know a few days because yeah. it was just like, man, I, I just didn't know what to expect. We're, we're making do with the best we can given all the circumstances right now with the, with the COVID restriction. But it's still being home and you can only see her once a day. With the NICVIEW, it's really been wonderful because parents don't just have to rely on words anymore. They can actually log in to their phone or their computer anytime. And what they see is a live stream of what's happening with their baby at that time. You have a thought about her, you want to know what's going on, you can just check on her right away. And you can see her like moving around and making little faces and stuff. So it's, yeah, it's like, it. a, yeah, <laughs> it's comforting, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's nice to see her that one time we can during the day, but before you go to bed, you're always thinking, oh, how's she doing? Or, you know, you just want to check in. You just want to, like, see her. And just It's just a little more comforting. On the screen of the camera, you can see how many people are logged in and watching. And you can see two or three or four and know that a whole family, even really far apart, is gathering together to watch the baby and that they can even be on the phone and talking to each other about what they see. It's really, really special. My mom and my dad is in the Philippines and of course from the COVID and what's happening they can't like travel here so when I told them that they can like see Adeline through the camera and the app they were so excited they were so happy especially my mom she was so yeah. excited and happy so I'm happy. <laughs> They say a picture's worth a thousand words, and I think um, about how I would feel if I could see my baby versus just talking to the nurse on the phone about how my baby's doing, and I know that I would be so much more comfortable. Wow, I love it. 
from Moreno Valley to Beaumont to the Philippines and all over the map. Donors are helping families connect and bond. Did you check out your silent auction items, by the way? I'm still watching my mini tree, and there's some amazing wine up for grabs too, so make sure to check out that super silent auction for all your sports needs too, as we have LA Laker tickets and VIP boxes, as well as hard-hitting, fast-flying action of your Anaheim Ducks too. Plus, we all need to get away, and there are plenty of amazing trips to be had, whether you like to hit the surf or the slopes. Our auction closes at 8.30 p.m. Don't miss your shot to support this great cause and get your holiday shopping done tonight. So let's take a moment to thank some donors who committed to our fund to need before the night began as well. To Donna Knox, Jennifer and Tom Cruikshank, to Dr. Brian Oshiro and others, thank you. Thank you so much for believing in what we do. And before we take another trip to the confectionery counter for your sweet tooth, let's get a little goofy once again with our friends from RUHS for a little game called, can you feel it? All right. Using your left hand, go ahead and reach in and tell us what you think is in there. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Mr. Potato Head. Incorrect, it is a Mrs. Potato oh, Head. Mrs. Potato Head. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Sure you don't want to take off your watch? <laughs> 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 He's going for it. <laughs> pudding. That's pretty close. It's a main ingredient in pudding. Can you guess what it is now? What's on your fingers? Yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of yogurt you eating? <laughs> yeah, vanilla pudding. Oh, it's whipped cream. Oh, whipped it's cream. It's whipped cream. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. What could it be this time, Dr. Chang? Oh, what are you guys doing to me? Oh. Petty. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> uh... It is kind of soothing. I've never seen anyone do that to that. It is kind of soothing, though, if you really got to be honest with you all. This is um, pumpkin pie? It is a pumpkin pie! Well done! Give the man a napkin. Thanks to our friends at RUHS for being such good sports and having a little fun with us. Well, I believe as Santa is making his nice list based on tonight, so I hope you've guaranteed your spot. We are glad you are here and enjoy the good company and friends and colleagues. And go on this adventure of a new event with us too. Thank you so very much. And make sure to take in all the sights and sounds tonight. I know you saw that amazing light show on your drive-in and there's so much more between the party on the pavilion and of course the trees in the carriage house. We miss those trees, gosh. While the event is a highlight, we all know you are really here for the kids. It is inspiring to see how this team works together to wrap services around Riverside County's most vulnerable children. And on a personal note, I have participated in the Foundation's Festival of Trees for five years now, and it is meaningful to have played a part in this important fundraising effort that we do. I have the honor of announcing that we walked into this evening with more than $375,000 in the bank, and our goal tonight is to raise $100,000 more. I ask you, can you help us get there? Whether it is by participating in a silent auction or giving generously throughout our fund to need, I implore you to pick up that phone and tap in to that commitment to help Riverside County kids. You are a part of this important work, and we are stronger together. Thank you for giving from the heart. Take care of yourselves and each other, and have a warm and festive holiday season.